All right, we are back for the last session of today's visit to Planet Pleasure for International Women's Day 2021. And we are ending it pretty perfectly, I think, with yoga and a yoni meditation by Micah Smith, also known as Bahama Hoop Yogi, particularly on Instagram. Micah, are you here? Are you unmuted? Tell us a little bit about yourself and what to expect from the session. Hi, everyone. My name is Micah Smith. Um, I am fully Bahamian, born, bred, cadet. <laughs> I um, graduated from Lee University in Cleveland, Tennessee, where I got my undergrad in sociology with a concentration in environmental history. Um, and then I got my master's in developmental child psychology with a concentration in mindfulness and mindfulness-based interventions. So I then went on to pursue my yoga teacher certification and um, I've done other things, but consistently through that, I've been a yoga teacher and now I do that full time. Um, and so today I will be sharing with you just some really cool information that my background has kind of allowed me the opportunity to discover. And it's always a pleasure to share that information with you. So we'll be talking talking yoga stuff but we'll also be doing so it's like three parts right so it'll be a little talk to introduce kind of the ideas to build a framework and then we'll go into a physical practice to kind of help embody all of the things that we learned today and kind of um it was just so interesting just going to talk real quick just sitting through everything i was in and out throughout the day and just the common thread that ran throughout and just this understanding that the body is our home and pain and and any kind of trauma it really causes us to disassociate and so pleasure is protest pleasure is healing pleasure is all these different things it's what you make it it's anything that brings you joy and happiness and so this practice is just to help us embody all of the things that we just learned and connected with. And then at the end, um, we'll do a guided meditation that will lead into yoni gazing, which is totally optional. Um, if it's not what you want to do, then you're welcome, you know, to stay in the first half of the meditation. Um, so yeah, I just I'm super excited to be here. And thank you so much, Alicia, for making this this space. It's such a beautiful space to be a part of. Um, yeah, so let's begin. Uh, so within the yogic philosophy, sexuality is normal and it's a healthy part of life. The second chakra, Sirvanhistana, is located between the navel and the pubic bone. Um, the color associated with the chakra is orange, its element is water, and its issues are movement connection sensuality, sexuality, creativity, relationships, emotion, desire, and pleasure. Its orientation is towards self-gratification and its demon is guilt. It develops uh, from the sixth month to the second year. And this correlates with Freud's oral stage, Erickson's trust versus mistrust, and Kohlberg's instrumental um, or hedonism phase. And so all of these phases are based on sensation and feeling. This is when children are figuring out what feels good and what doesn't. And children are very young during this phase. So they do that mostly by sticking everything in their mouths. So even at a very infantile state, this is how we gather our sensations and feelings in our body through textile, through touch, through feel. And it connects us to understanding the way we feel about the world, how we explore all of that. We ascertain what's safe, what feels good, what tastes good. All of that comes during this time. And so when the chakras awaken, we experience fluidity and grace, a depth of emotion, sexual fulfillment, and the ability to accept change. Body workers, uh, massage therapists, acupuncturists, neuropathologists, um, basically anybody who understands energy or works with the body, they all agree that this is the part of the body that is the most plagued in both men and females. It, sorry. Um, 
and it is around the second chakra. Our conscious, through conscious movement, we have the ability to have a profound effect on healing repressed emotion and pain. Our yoni and our sacral chakra work hand in hand as our yonis include our entire vagina. And this is the Sanskrit word also for vulva and it is the most sacred and revered word that you can use. And so um, whatever affects our sacral chakra also affect, affects our yoni. Sexualized violence against women, rape, torture, assault, all occurs every minute on this planet. A, gra a grave assault on human rights around the world, violence against women is, accounts for one in three women. According to the Pan American Health Organization, violence against women is a serious cause of death and incapacitation among women. Virtually every society in the world effectively condones violence against women. The World Health Organization multi-country study on women's health and domestic violence against women found that intimate partner violence and its association with women's physical and mental, sexual and reproductive health is widespread and prevalent. And the persecution and sorry prosecution and conviction of men who assault women or girls is rare comparison to the number of assaults. Only 44 countries have laws against domestic violence. Violence against women is exacerbated by women's subordinate positions, poverty, and other forms of misogyny. Violence against women has serious consequences on their physical bodies and mental health. Women who have been abu abused are likely to suffer from depression, anxiety, psychosomatic symptoms, eating disorders, and physical um, dysfunction. It also has a profound effect on reproductive health in women and increases a myriad of behaviors and outcomes from um, risk-taking behavior to unplanned pregnancy and a various amount of gynecological problems such as pelvic pain and painful intercourse. The struggles that women endure create a physical toll that is both heavy and painful and takes home in the tissues of the body and presents in a myriad of ways. They imbalance, um, particularly sexual um, trauma imbalances the sacral chakra, impeding our connection to self, inhibiting proper emotional expression and disconnecting us from bodily sensations and pleasures. Sexual abuses and traumas, emotional abuses, physical abuse, secondary trauma, and religious severity can all create imbalance in the sacral chakra and drive us away from our true homes, our sacred vessels. Meditation, pranayama, yoga asana are all incredible vehicles to return us home to our bodies and release internalized stress, pain, repressed emotion. In fact, a study conducted by Smith and Co. in 2006 found that pranayama, which is breath work and exercises, um, has a profound impact on self-efficacy, which is the term used to describe the sense of having control over one's life. So a study that focused on yoga for sexually abused women found that self-efficacy increased, or self-efficacy in, in these women was increased through pranayama, through learning pranayama. So through our yoga practice today, we will tap into our sacral chakra and also honor our yoni. In this moment, we step out of any societal boundaries and step into our divine feminine space as a collective. So all of the energy that we gather today, now we come to sit and rest in that and absorb that and see what speaks to us as we find silence, within and create movement and and um really and i'm so appreciative um appreciative to shawnee because she really awakened us and now we can get into a deeper stretch um so during this flow we will engage with some alternate nostril breathing and ocean breath which is also called um ujjayi breath and then we will engage our Mula Bandha and our Udayana Bandha, which are our sacral chakra locks. So um, if everyone can just take your hands and create a triangle, turn it upside down, place your hands, place the thumbs right above the navel. 
and let the hands rest right above the pubic bone. So this is the area of your sacral chakra. So today, everything that we do is gonna be targeted towards this energy, um, towards this area. So if everyone can just come to lie flat on your box, on your mat, wherever that is for you, um, you're welcome to turn on your camera if you feel comfortable. So I can offer you any assistance as I look through. So everyone come to lie flat on your back, keeping that same triangular shape on the belly. Let the hands rest here for a moment. No forcing, no changing. Just observe the rise and the fall of your breath. Settle in and feel your hands as they lift with your belly. Notice where you feel any tightness, any areas that may feel that they need a little bit more attention. And breathe here. During this moment, we're going to take our time to set a sankalpa or an intention for our practice. So today our intention is to ground and move any stagnant energy as we come to connect with our pleasure center, our sacral chakra. Take a moment to think about what that means to you. And we will use this breath. So take a deep belly full inhale, bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet to touch the mat. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Take a deep belly full inhale. And loud sighing exhale out through the mouth. Inhale. In through the nose, exhale. A loud sighing exhale out through the mouth. One more breath, just like this. Big belly full inhale. And a loud sighing exhale out through the mouth. Drawing deeper inhales and exhales. Every exhale, you create a little bit more depth. Feel the heart and chest expand as you draw air in. Over the next th few exhales, I'm going to cue Ujjayi breath. So take a deep belly full inhale and a loud sighing exhale and envision a big mirror in front of you that you're trying to fog up. So with every exhale in through the nose, Fog up the mirror on the exhale.
Take five breaths like this. Big belly full inhales, loud sighing exhales. Let these exhales be in, let them be audible. The inhales and the exhales, nice big belly full breaths. Let the sound of your breath fill the room. Keep fogging up that mirror. Begin to draw awareness to the sensation at the back of your throat. What does that feel like? What muscles are engaged as you... With every exhale, draw more awareness to that sensation that you feel at the back of the throat. The muscles that you engage here. Every breath, more awareness. We call it in, we draw it in, we feel the sensation, we draw awareness to the muscles at the back of the throat. We feel the sensation of our chest rising and falling as we draw in breath, as we draw in literal life force that supports us. Big belly full inhales and exhales. On that next exhale, seal the lips and begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, but maintain that same sensation at the back of the throat. But at one of her lessons is that divine feminine energy brought this world into existence and that power is good. Your inward breath. Big belly full inhales and exhales. This is your Ujjayi breath. Lips sealed. If at any time you lose your Ujjayi breath, simply unseal your lips, fog up your mirror, draw your attention to the sensation at the back of your throat and regain your breath. Seal the lips and you have Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath helps us to focus our pranic energy or our life force, our energy inside of us. So poses, we find them with more ease, with more alignment, with more strength and grounding. Take a deep belly full inhale. Exhale, step the feet apart slightly. Inhale, exhale, lower both knees over to the right side. Inhale, knees go straight over to the left. Exhale, knees come over to the right. We move through windshield wipers. Knees move from side to side. Big belly full inhales and exhales. Keep breathing here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Sorry, in through the nose and out through the nose. Take a deep belly full inhale, bring the knees back to center. Exhale, draw both knees into the towards the chest. Begin to rock back and forth until you come up into a comfortable seated position. Cross the legs, Sukhasana, easy seat. We're gonna take Sukhasana circles here. Big belly full inhale. Roll forward towards the front, exhale, reach the back towards the back. Move with that breath. You can make these circles as big or as small as you'd like. And exhale, opposite direction. Big belly full inhales and exhales.
Inhale, come back to center. Exhale from here. We cross the legs tightly and find our way into tabletop. In our tabletop posture, we want to make sure that the knees are stacked under the hips and the wrists are stacked under the shoulders. Push the floor away, stay strong in the shoulders, big belly full, inhale, lift the heart and chest forward. Exhale, curl the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, tailbone lifts up, belly drops, head lifts. Exhale, tailbone tucks, spine reaches up towards the ceiling, chin draws in towards the chest. Remember here, the motion begins with the tailbone and ends with the head. Big belly full inhales and exhales. Inhale, come back to a neutral tabletop. Exhale, find the balls of the feet. Push through the balls of the feet. Inhale, find a hovering tabletop. Exhale, press the hips back into an inverted chair. Inhale, downward facing dog. If the heels lift, that's fine. If you feel a bit tight and hunched forward, you're welcome to take two options here. You can bend the knees and then step the feet out the width of the mat. This gives you more space and is gentler on your hamstrings. Press down through the fingertips. Inhale, shift the gaze forward and walk the hands back towards the feet. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms reach all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands float down by the side. Take a deep belly full inhale. And a loud, audible exhale. <sighs> Two more breaths just like that. Big belly full inhale. Loud, audible exhale. <sighs> Last one, big belly full inhale. A loud, audible exhale. <sighs> inhale, arms reach up, palms press together overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk the hands all the way forward until you come into a high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your mat. Here you wanna make sure that the fingertips are stacked underneath the shoulders. Actually, the fingertips should be a little bit in front of the shoulders. The thumbs in line with the chest. Squeeze the glutes, press the pelvis into the floor. Big belly full, inhale, lift up, coming into Cobra. Try to roll the shoulders back, make space for the neck. Shoulders roll away from the neck. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, find your way to tabletop. Exhale, hovering tabletop. Inhale, press back, inverted chair. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big belly full inhales and exhales here. Press in with the tips of the fingers. Keep pushing the floor away. The gaze is towards the kneecaps. I'm gonna give you three cues here. Tuck the tailbone under. Wrap the armpits in towards the face and send energy down through the heels. Two more breaths here. Nice big belly full inhales and exhales. Risa, can you walk your hands forward like one palm length? Keep your feet where they are. Perfect. 
good. Big belly full, inhale, shift the gaze forward. Exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Exhale, forward fold. Here, try to shift the weight towards the balls of the feet and make sure that your second toe is pointing forward. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Come to face forward the long ways on your mat. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, bend over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bend over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, open the arms up. Step the feet wide. Here, you want to make sure that the feet are pivoted out like 45 degrees. Okay? Big belly full. Inhale. Exhale, lower down into a goddess squat. You can bend your arms so that the elbows are in line with the shoulders and the wrists are in line with the elbow. Exhale, you're gonna gently rest your hands atop your thighs. And we're gonna do something called sacral pushes. So you're going to squeeze your sphincter and your pelvic floor. And then exhale, push it to release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, push to release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, push to release. Inhale, reach all the way up, nice and tall. Exhale, you're going to pivot your left foot so that the outer edge, the pinky edge of your left foot is in is parallel with the back of your mat. Then you're gonna turn your right foot to face forward. So your second toe face towards the front wall. Big belly full, inhale, arms float up. Exhale, reach the torso forward. You can bring your hand to the top of your shin. Extend the arm up away from you, triangle pose. If this feels comfortable, and you want to go a little bit deeper, you're welcome to lower and reach. The gaze is up towards that hand. Inhale, reach up tall. Pivot the feet forward again. And we find our goddess squat feet. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, lower down to goddess squat. Big belly full inhales and exhales here. Exhale, release the hands to the tops of the thighs. And we go for another round of five sacral pushes. Big belly full inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. Inhale, reach all the way up. Pivot the feet out to the left. So the left foot comes to face forward. So the second toe is pointing directly forward. And then our back foot is parallel. The edge of the outer edge of the back foot is parallel with the outer edge of the mat. And we want to make sure that the arch of the back foot is in line with the heel of the front foot. Float the arms out. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, lower the hand onto the shin or hair or hair, wherever feels most comfortable for you. It's all about what feels good in your body. Feel the stretch coming up the side of the body. In each posture, take a moment to observe, what do you feel? What do I feel when I'm here? What muscles are engaging? 
What sensations am I creating in my body with this movement? Big belly full, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, pivot the feet forward. We find our goddess squat feet again. Feet turn out 45 degrees. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, lower down. Here we do something a little different. We're gonna do some pelvic tilts. So exhale, tuck or arch the back to stick, like stick your booty out. And inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Inhale, tuck. Keep doing this, do about three more rounds. And again, observe what sensations are you feeling as you move through this movement? How does this feel different from the movement we were doing before with the same posture? Every sensation creates a different flow of energy in the body. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, pivot both feet forward so that both of the second toes are po pointing directly forward. Big belly full inhale, bring the hands to the waist. Exhale, forward fold. Release the hands towards the mat. Elbows are bent. If this feels good for you, then you can bring the hands back so that the fingertips are in line with the toes. Bend the elbows more and draw the crown of the head down towards the mat. Shift the weight forward towards the balls of the feet here. Big belly full inhales and exhales. Inhale, press up through the arms, lift the heart and chest. Take a gentle bend in the knees, bring the hands to the waist. Inhale, straighten through the legs, come all the way back up. Big belly full inhale, step the feet together. Arms reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands come to shins, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Turn to face forward, arms extend overhead. Exhale, chair pose. Here you wanna make sure that the knees are stacked over the ankles. The hips reach back. Big belly full inhales and exhales. Exhale, squat all the way down, lowering all the way all the way onto your mat. Extend the legs out in front of you. Give your legs a gentle shake. Big belly full inhales and exhales here. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, plant the palms behind you. You can plant your palms maybe about a half a palm length to a palm length behind your hips. Bend the knees into the chest. Big belly full inhale, squeeze the knees into the chest as much as you can. And lift the feet up off the mat. Big belly full inhales and exhales, really draw the knees into the chest. Reach your hands around and lace them underneath your knee, like right at the base of your thigh. So at the crease of your knees, sorry. <laughs> Big belly full inhale, welcome to stay here. Or you can bring your knees, your ankles so that they're in line with your knees. Keep drawing the chest in towards the knees, knees in towards the chest, thighs against the abdomen. You're welcome to stay here or you can release the hands as you reach them forward down towards the feet. Big belly full inhales and exhales. Welcome to stay here or you can begin to reach the legs all the way up. If that doesn't feel good, then you're welcome to stay here. Or if you want to reach the legs up, you can actually hold your legs and lift them up. And this gives you a little bit more support. 
Big belly full inhales and exhales. And exhale, lower the legs. Bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall out to the side. Baddha Konasana, Cobbler's Pose. Interlace the fingers, slide them underneath the feet. Big belly full inhale, lift the heart and chest. Exhale, fold. Think about pressing the outer edges of your feet together. Like you're peeling your foot open like a book. Inhale, lift the heart and chest. Exhale, extend the legs out in front of you. Inhale, arms float all the way up overhead. Exhale, come to lie flat on your back. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Take a deep belly full inhale and a loud sighing exhale. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Take a moment here to come back to your breath if you had lost it at any point during this practice. Take a moment to notice if you feel any new space that you created, whether that be physically or mentally, not only during this practice, but during the course of this day. Take a moment to feel into your body and this present moment. Again, take that triangle shape that we made earlier, placing it, the thumbs right above the navel, palms at the base of the belly. You can re remain in Shavasana for this. So flat out on your back. I'm just sitting up to direct you guys. <laughs> so just breathe deeply into the center. Close your eyes and take three deep cleansing breaths. Feeling your chest expand and contract. Soften and notice an orange, beautiful light, a connecting and extending from the base of your tailbone down into the earth. It may help to imagine your favorite place, maybe a beautiful beach, a scenic mountain, an expansive desert. Connect to the earth's power as you experience your own feminine power. So with every breath, envision an orange light going from your tailbone down into the earth. With every inhale, this light becomes brighter and brighter. And with every exhale, it extends deeper and deeper. Continue to breathe. And when you feel like this connection is made, come to an ex experience of internal grounding. Feel a deep visceral connection to the earth. 
With every breath, keep anchoring to the earth and bring your awareness to the crown of your head. From here, begin to observe a beautiful white light extending from the heavens. Notice how this glimmering light begins to pour down and travel towards you. As it becomes closer to the crown of your head, notice how this white light begins to engulf you. How does it make you feel? With every breath, you begin to draw in this white light and you feel it travel down through your lungs, down the center of your body as it connects to the orange light at the base of your tailbone. With every inhale, the orange light grows larger and more illuminated. So at this moment, you have a light connecting you to the earth and a light connecting you to the heavens. Envision these two lights merging and each growing brighter and brighter. Witness the beauty of the light extending from the crown of your head all the way to the perineum, to your tailbone, from the earth to the heavens. With each exhale, you feel the heaviness heavy emotions and pain as they melt and absorb into the earth beneath you. With every inhale, envision your highest self, your feminine ancestors and your higher power pouring the power of divine feminine energy into every part of your being. With every breath, you call in more power more energy, more healing, more clarity, and more peace. Continue to breathe into your heart center and send energy down towards your sacral area. You're welcome to stay here and continue to connect with this visualization of light energy or you can reach for your mirror, turn off your camera and join me as we move into our yoni gazing portion of our meditation. So once you have your mirror, find a comfortable position. Whether that's reclined or seated, maybe propped up on some pillows, whatever you think is going to feel comfortable for you. Take a deep breath. Open your legs and position your mirror so that you can see your beautiful portal. Take a moment to gaze at her. In this moment, we release any judgment and we take hold of adoration and admiration. We relinquish any fear.
And with every breath, every deep ocean breath that we connect with, we wash away any ideas or preconceived notions, fears, expectations, whether realistic or unrealistic. And we honor our Yoni for all that she is. She represents the connection between the earth realm and the cosmically divine. Take notice about what makes her unique. Maybe in this moment, you can make some movements and see what that looks like in the mirror. I'm going to repeat a few affirmations or state a few affirmations and you can repeat after me aloud and really direct these words towards your yoni. I am grateful that I was chosen to embody the divine femme. I am a divine portal between the physical world and the great cosmic universe. All life flows through me. My yoni is a sacred temple of divine honey. My sensuality flows like a river. Take a moment to speak your own kind word of love or affirmation towards your yoni. Take a moment to connect to observe, to let go. Yoni gazing is a very ancient and powerful practice that allows us to connect with ourselves in a way that people say that we shouldn't, that society tells us that we shouldn't. Understanding that we can love ourselves and love our vaginas in their natural state as they are. And not being ashamed of what it may look like. And understanding that the betrayal of what is out there and what is realistic are two very different things. And so the more that we gaze at ourselves in this way, the more that we come to understand that we are more than what is portrayed in this misogynistic world. And so when you feel ready, you can Come to put your pants back on and find your way back to a comfortable seated position. Welcome to keep your cameras off or you can turn them on. Take a deep belly full inhale. And a loud sighing exhale. 
Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you through this very special and sacred practice. Until next time, love all, serve all, and create no sorrow. Om Namah Shivaya. Namaste. Thank you so much, Micah. It's always so good to have you with us and to bring us back to center, back to self. I think this is a really great way to wrap up our day together. Um, before we do the wrap up, wrap up, <laughs> um, Lauren has our last set of raffle winners for today. Um, and then I'll tell you more about what's happening over the next couple of days. Yep, so we have a top up for Simone and infused salts for or orchid, orchid, sorry. Um, so I will DM, I will private message y'all in the chat for details about how to redeem. What, which, which ones? Say it again, the, the names and the, what they got. Um, top up for Simone. Mm -hmm and infuse salts for orchid and then is there someone for the we still have the body polish or yoni steam that micah is providing oh yes that's for shawnee shawnee okay <laughs> so micah's laughing are y'all already connected <laughs> <laughs> that's funny okay so y'all could just get in touch with each other um the infused salts is that orchid yes okay so orchid you already know <laughs> get in touch with seasonal sunshine bahamas and for the top up just let us know if it's btc or live and messages message us that information in your number um yeah so the wrap up we have the virtual march happening on monday so in all the years previous we did the march first would march to the Dundas and have the expo there. We flipped it this year. So the expo is done. Monday is the virtual march. Um, between now and Monday, we encourage you to make your sign and post it with the hashtag. I'll type it IWD242. And you can decide to draw a sign and take a picture of it. You can take a picture holding your sign, or you can use one of the templates that we provided. So we posted some templates that just look like hands holding a sign. They're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. On all those places, it's slash Equality242, or just look up Equality Bahamas and you'll find us. Um, so post it on any social media with IWD242. And people who do that will be entered into the drawing uh, to more times to win the 90 minute massage by Relax and Escape Spa as well as the baked goods, well, a voucher for baked goods um, by Mudo. And I already told you all from the first session, it's great, I order weekly. <laughs> um, and we still have more KG Beauty vouchers that we'll be giving out once we see, you know, your activity on social media. You can also use the hashtag pleasure tings, which I'll type, to share with us whatever brings you pleasure. So that could be your garden, a plate of food, you in your favorite outfit, whatever um, brings you pleasure with a little caption. And yep, you'll be entered into the drawing. That, what else? Oh, Monday at 6 p.m. We have a virtual tour of the Medicine and Memory exhibition at the National Art Gallery of the Bahamas. So that'll be pretty good. It's only gonna be about 45 minutes. So six o'clock to about 6.45, we'll be touring with them. We're gonna share the link to that on social media and also in the email that we're sending out tomorrow. So all of you will get an email with the link to DJ Amparo's mix that you've been hearing snippets of throughout the day. Um, is there anything else in that email, Lauren? <laughs> the playlist, the link to the exhibition. The fundraiser. Or... Right, and the fundraiser that Orchid has done for her birthday to help with 
help us to help women with unexpected expenses um, when they are in crisis. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining us. Some of y'all have been here like a long time. <laughs> we really appreciate you sticking with us for the whole day. Some people have been in and out. Thank you also um, people who were just watching on Facebook. You missed out on the chat, which was fire a lot of the time, um, but we're glad that we joined. you joined us anyway. Um, next event after International Women's Day will be Women's Wednesdays in April. That's April 7th at six. It will be on Zoom as usual. And we, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So the topic is gonna to be something around that area and we'll be relaunching the Strike Five campaign to criminalize marital rape. So look out for more information on that. Um, I think that's it. Thank you to all of the facilitators for the day. Everyone was amazing. Thanks to Brendan Tynes, who we are gonna connect to with her Bahamian roots soon, um, <laughs> who did the Pleasure Poetics first thing today. Paula Hamilton-Smith from Trinidad, who led us through some theater exercises and helped us to tap into other characters that live within us and figure out how to amplify them. Hermie Escamilla from Texas, well, based in Texas now, who did On the Men, showing us some basic stitches and how to make our own shit and keep our shit for a longer time by repairing it. Um, Alicia Roll from the Sustainable Development Goals Unit for the gardening session. Zuria Monroe Wilkinson from the National Art Gallery of the Bahamas for the pleasure card making session, which I will need to work some more on my cutting out of petals, but I'm gonna get there. Um, post your cards. If you did the cards, post them so we could see them with the hashtag. Um, Shawnee, of course, with the dance. I'm gonna have to go back over the video to get them moves together, because y'all. <laughs> and again, Micah for the yoga session, which I will also have to get back to and do that again, because I was watching the chat and stuff throughout the session, but wished that I could have been a part of it. But anyway, we, we'll link up Micah anyway. <laughs> and to everyone who offered prizes, um, Motto, KG Beauty, Relax and Escape Spa. Um, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, the rest of the weekend. And we look forward to seeing you on Monday for the virtual art tour. And then April 7th for Women's Wednesdays. Um, do something nice for yourself for International Women's Day. I already did the nice thing. I got myself some flowers. Um, so do something nice for yourself um, to make you smile and, and post it with your pleasure things. Hashtag try to get this massage, like a 90 minute massage. Seriously, try win that. Um, that's it. Bye. <laughs>